coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. The summer of 2018 continues to be hot and dry. And as the temperatures reach 30 degrees or more, you're reminded to limit your time in the sun and know the signs of heat exhaustion. The aroma of barbecue was in the air and drew in a crowd to the Living Sky Casino for the first ever rib fest in Swift Currents. These mugs, saucers, and bowls all share something in common. They are rich, brilliant, and colorful, and are the works of artist Nick Seville. Thanks for joining us here today. Well, as the temperatures continue to heat up in the coming days, you're reminded to know the signs of heat exhaustion. The summer of 2018 continues to be hot and dry. And as the temperatures reach 30 degrees or more, you're reminded to limit your time in the sun and know the signs of heat exhaustion. If you start feeling dizzy when you're outdoors or it's really warm and, and uh, you don't feel like you're sweating properly because with a lot of humidity you can't sweat the way you normally would, uh, then, you know, it's, it's an indication you've got to be careful. Don't strain yourself too much. Avoid being out there for too long. Uh, if you do have to be out, uh, make sure one, you are hydrated because a lot of people uh, don't drink enough and then go outside and then, you know, the dehydration also kicks in. Wearing light clothing, you know, that, that, that's not going to uh, cause too much retention of heat. And for babies too, that's very important. Uh, when mothers taking babies outdoors and it's pretty warm, don't have them bundled in too much because they will get a lot of uh, heat effect. And young children, babies and uh, older adults are more prone uh, to this condition because they, they uh, respond to heat in a slower uh, manner, so they will accumulate more heat. And if you do experience any of the symptoms of heat exhaustion, get in the shade or into a cool environment immediately. Apply cold compresses or take a cold shower. And if your symptoms persist, seek medical attention. And along with taking breaks from the hot temperatures outside, Ensure your environment indoors is cool. At the same time, it's important if you are indoors and it's not air conditioned to make sure you don't get, you know, too much heat and, 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 and then suffer from uh, heat stroke and things like that. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's really a lot of precautions and for individuals, you know, without air conditioning, it's advisable, you know, make sure they don't wear heavy clothing and if they can get to a place where there is air conditioning, you know, go to a mall or something like that or a friend's place. Therefore, by taking a few simple steps, such as seeking shade and staying hydrated with water, you can avoid heat exhaustion this summer. The Living Sky Casino hosted a premier event in Swift Current. We bring you some of the highlights in this report. The aroma of barbecue was in the air and drew in a crowd to the Living Sky Casino for the first ever rib fest in Swift Currents. Over three days, patrons had the chance to enjoy award-winning ribs, chicken, and more from three Canadian teams, all vying for the top trophy at the end of the weekend. Carter Nicholas of Silver Bullet Barbecue from Guelph, Ontario, is spending his summer traveling from coast to coast for rib fests across the country. Carter says the Swift Current event is on the smaller scale compared to many in Ontario, which have as many as 19 teams competing for the crowd favorite, with each team having their own unique blend of food on the menu. Each award-winning rack starts off individually hand-rubbed with our signature Texas-style spices. Then we slow smoke them in our smoker over here for four hours uh, with wood that we get from the Edie Smith Cherry Farm in the Niagara Peninsula. And then we grill them over an open charcoal flame and caramelize them to perfection using our sweet peppercorn-based sauce and hence the melt-in-your-mouth flavor. This probably has to be my favorite job I've ever had. Uh, I love meeting new people from different cities, which that's that's the best. That's one of the best things about it. But I just love like I love grilling. Like to say that you're working and grilling like that's just an unreal thing to do an event which the living sky casino was pleased to host as it approaches its 10th anniversary in swift current rib fest first of all started with just the the ribs the chicken the food and everything else and then we incorporated obviously with the number one right here you take a look at the kids zone and whatnot so 
We wanted to make sure it was a family event. And as you can hear, there's entertainment in the background, free stage and everything else. We, Lots of times when we do things in the community, it costs money. And they want to make sure that this was a free event, except for the food. But the food is well worth the price and everything else. But we take a look at, we brought the event here. We wanted to incorporate Dr. Noble Irwin for the sponsorship charity side of thing and everything. Just to, to help them. Everybody, you know, we look at health care. We need it at one time or another. And what, what a greater cause. And from the long lineups throughout the weekend, Rib Fest was a hit with the crowd and is now on the radar as an annual event for Living Sky Casino. This would be great to have an annual event. As you can see, you know, all the laughter, the children, the families and everything. It's just another event to bring people out, you know, rather than sitting at home all long weekend or, or driving through. Because lots of times we get this traffic that aren't going to stop in, but you can see people breaking, coming in. I just met a couple from B.C. They're traveling through to a reunion in Winnipeg and they said, hey, let's stay here for tonight. Otherwise, they, I don't know where they would have stayed, Regina. Rib Fest to several stops across Western Canada, including Saskatoon and Medicine Hat. The influences of the local landscape are showcased in an East End artist's work. In this feature, we meet Nick Seville. What defines something as a work of art? Is it a painting or a sculpture? Must it be on public display? Does it need to evoke an emotional response? Perhaps even more importantly, do you need to be an artist to create it? These mugs, saucers, and bowls all share something in common. They are rich, brilliant, and colorful, and are the works of artist Nick Seville. Living in the picturesque community of East End, this unassuming blue building is Nick's workshop. And these 20 bowls represent Nick's latest project, a paint party, in which participants use the 20 color combinations represented by these bowls to create their very own work of art. Basically, it's you choosing your colors and you doing your bowl, and you, it'll be the only one ever like it. And it's Created using white clay, for a long time each now. piece takes on Nick's brand of colors. People can find what they want. Something he's worked on to perfect. The clay is really white. It's a blend of porcelain and white clay, so that helps you get bright colors. And then the, my glazes, I call them flavors. I brush them all on. So I have a lot more input and uh, also I buy the glazes because they are very colorful and then you, you experiment and mix them together and do one on top of the other, the other on top of the other and, and do a lot of experimenting. Like many others, Nick has toiled away at his art, first as a hobby, but then realizing it could become something more. So in 2014, he started his business and hasn't looked back. And now, in this latest chapter, has hopes of creating memorable experiences for tourists as well as for others, seeking just a taste of what it means to be an artist. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.